Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for the next seven days, okay? Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? And uh, just take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. Then we're going to do a past, present, and future. And who is coming? who's coming towards you or your person, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with. So we'll look at that energy as well. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Next seven days. Seven, seven, seven. Seven is a number for heaven, from heaven. So there's this, there's a godly energy here. There's some sort of divine. I feel like there's some sort of spiritual connection. Um, heaven sent. Something is heaven sent. Okay, as far as I'm concerned. Sent from above, as far as I'm concerned. So what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Now, this is my second one. I did one already, but I decided to do it over. I do feel like there's going to be some stiff competition here. Somebody may be competing for your attention, or you may need to fight for something. Uh, maybe you're dealing with somebody that where there's a lot of competition. I feel like you're going to, because we have the Seven of Wands right in the middle in your present position. So that is fighting for something, dealing with opposition, dealing with competition, needing to defend yourself, needing to defend your position. Maybe you're going to be put in a very tough position. Um, you may need to uh, ward off some of the competition or something like that. So anyway, past, present, and future for Capricorn. Moon in the past. Three of Pentacles reversed in the world card. Present, lovers reversed. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So presently you have a new opportunity here. It's a very fertile time. You may be growing a new relationship. The seeds are being planted or the seeds have been planted. It feels like you've been separated from somebody for some reason. Maybe there's been a detachment from your partner or a disconnection or something. You're going to be... Uh, expressing more feelings there's gonna there's like looking for love searching for love an offer of love falling in love knight of cups a proposal um words of love flirting something like that um ace of wands new beginning okay so right now there's things that are growing maybe there's feelings growing with inside you you know maybe you have a relationship that is growing okay something is growing Feelings, feelings of growth. It's, it's definitely a very fertile time, um, but there's been some sort of detachment, or maybe you've been feeling lonely with the lover's card reversed. Now, what about the future? Page of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Sun card. So there's happiness, healing in the future, healing over heartache, healing over pain in the future. A new suitor, somebody that is very, very well suited for you, could also be a child. You know, somebody may get news of a pregnancy. You know, there's def it's definitely a very fertile time. Some of you, if you are in that, you know, age group and you're looking to get pregnant, absolutely good time for that. I do feel like um, there's been some sort of secrets in the past. Something has been hidden. You are unaware of, of some sort of change that is coming. Uh, in the past, I feel like you've been deceived. I feel like you've maybe it's, it's by uh, somebody that was very sneaky, very, very shady. I feel like uh, you may have been dealing with people that disrespected you, that didn't... Um, they weren't willing to work with you. I feel like you've learned some sort of lesson with the world card. You've completed that cycle. Maybe in the past, you know, you were in some sort of illusion because the moon card is illusion. Okay, it's illusion. It's fantasy. It, there's some, and there, there may even be some addictions that have been holding you back. I've, there's definitely a, a cycle that is over that has ended for you. Um, and I feel like you've been... Uh, in a place of fear maybe with that moon card maybe your fear your fear is working with new people or 
or moving to a new place and not and not meeting your tribe not meeting your people not being accepted the world card is a new territory stepping into new territory that phase of your life is over but i think there's some fear there's fear of not being accepted you know fear of of um I don't know. I feel like it's fear of not being accepted. You need to let go of those fears because I feel like you have learned some big lessons in your life. I feel like you have accomplished success. You have there's nothing to be ashamed of. Your past is what shapes you. I feel like you you need to step forward in faith on a new journey. Don't let people that have caused you to be afraid or has caused you to hide who you truly are hold you back. Um, I feel like you are embarking you on a whole new journey now, but there's there's an unclear and difficult path ahead, which is scaring you. It's scaring you. Maybe you have to find a new job, or you have to find a new home. There's travel. There's a change of residence here, and it's kind of scary. So I feel like you're in a you're in a place of fear. You're in a place of fear. I feel like you've been rejected. You know, you've been rejected or you've been let down by somebody that was very, very deceptive. This person was a maybe they were a pathological liar. I don't know. The moon card is is deception. It is. This is somebody that is in their shadow, you know, and maybe in and, and that could even be you. Maybe you weren't seeing things clearly. But this stepping into new territory starts a whole new life for you. Okay, so let go of your fear and step forward in faith. There could be some tr upcoming, you know, change of residence or something like that. But anyway, let's talk about, we got to get the cards for your person. Ace of Pentacles reversed. High Priestess reversed. Nine of Wands. So you are unaware of something. Um, somebody's unaware of their value. Somebody doesn't know their value. The Ace of Pentacles reverse, High Priestess reverse, unaware, experiencing some life challenges. Whoever you are dealing with does not know their value. It's interesting because I saw that in that same position in your reading that I just did. You, and it's a perfect match because we have the King of Pentacles in this position and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So we have one person that can show somebody their value in the Queen of Pentacles and reverse if somebody doesn't know their value. It's a perfect match. It's probably another earth sign. I feel like you have somebody here that is, I feel like it's another earth sign. I do. I feel like it's another earth sign that is a perfect match for you, but this person doesn't know their value. They are unaware. They are unaware of their value. They have their guard up. They really, 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 really have their guard up. This person has been wounded very, very bad. So whoever you're dealing with, your person or whoever is coming towards you doesn't know their value. Okay, now this doesn't, this could be a friend, it could be a colleague, could be a partner, whoever it is. We got somebody here who doesn't know their value. Um, your challenge is the page of swords reversed. You're going to be caught off guard by somebody. I know that you are. I saw that in the other one as well. Um, there's a miscommunication or there's a lack of communication. We have somebody here that is very immature, that is very childish, that may be withholding communication to punish somebody. That is not the answer. That is definitely not the answer. Um, it's childish behavior. So we do have somebody here that is acting childish. We also have some sort of aggressor here that that doesn't tell the truth. So I think that you need to beware. And with the moon card, you do need to beware. You need to beware. In the other reading, we had the X because we had the X card. So you you may be some of you may be dealing with an X that you need to, you know, put your hand up and say no. No, 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 no. You're not going to mess up my good thing. Because that's what happens when you find your perfect match or you've moved on. That's when the X shows up. So I feel like, and I do, and we had the Six of Cups with it. So anyway, I do believe that there could be an X that is resurfacing or you are still in your feelings about this X. Do not let this X mess up a good thing because you have a perfect match here with somebody that you are very, very well suited with and can bring you a lot of happiness. If you're already in a happy relationship, you guys may be adding a child. You may be unaware that there's a new child that is coming. Um, anyhow, 
um, what is coming in what is coming in for you what you don't see coming is getting what you deserve getting reciprocation getting equality you know you you are about to receive you know something that you deserve you may not see it coming this could be a pay raise it could be an increase in money we did have increase in money in the other deck as well you are about to receive an increase of abundance okay whatever it is something that you have been waiting for is coming it is coming but I feel like you may be angry or something or you may be dealing with some opposition and having a hard time expressing yourself. I feel like you need to express yourself. You need to express your feelings. You need to show your feelings. Okay, if you want things to grow, you need to express your feelings. Um, so I do feel like we have a, we definitely have a perfect match here, but there's some sort of miscommunication or there's a lack of communication. If you want growth in the relationship, you need to communicate and you need to take action towards that relationship. And I say take action because we had the Knight of Wands right here in your present before. So that is act now, think later. If you don't want to lose the partnership, maybe there's some competition, which I believe there probably is. You need to take action. You need to fight for it. You know, you need to defend your position. So I really feel like you are going to be put in that position where you need to defend yourself and defend your... your uh, leader you know that you're the leader you know that you're in the position to win that you're not gonna back down now for some of you <clears throat> this may have to do with something completely different that this could be like an ex or somebody that is challenging you in some way maybe it's I don't know what what kind of situation it is in it doesn't even have to be an ex it could be a co-worker there is somebody here that is going to be challenging you this could be a competitor a competitor a co-worker a person that doesn't see eye to eye to you with you uh, this person is very deceptive very very sneaky maybe somebody that is watching you on the web you know um, across the internet or something like that this person has uh, some they're scheming they're scheming against you in some way they're trying to take you down off your position so be prepared for that you have this person is like spying they're scheming they are against you they maybe it could be a hater you know this is somebody that uh, may be trying to take you down okay they're trying to stop your success so I don't know who this is like I said it could be an ex it's could there is somebody here that is trying to stop your success they may be trying to stop you from telling the truth you know they may be trying to scare you in some way be prepared for that okay don't don't let this person um, cause you fear okay because I feel like you're gonna be successful you are successful you are gonna be successful um, follow your heart listen to your intuition express your feelings you're gonna see a lot of growth even in just seven days but whoever you're dealing with does not know their value there could be an unplanned loss here you know maybe this person has experienced a loss and they've chosen to be single you know they've chosen to be single or they've chosen to seclude themselves you know they're very 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 guarded this person um, uh, you know the high priestess reverse is typically somebody who chooses to be single doesn't doesn't really want a partnership because they're, they've been hurt so bad the wounded warrior is right next to it the nine of wands so we have somebody here that um, is very intuitive you know they're very intuitive they they only listen to themselves you know they listen to their gut this person is not planning on letting their guard down you know this person listens to themselves this person may also uh, listen may also listen to a lot of tarot readers just being honest you need to this person needs to just listen to themselves and nobody else but anyhow um, and get some more on whoever this person is that you're dealing with knight of swords brash assertive you definitely have somebody here that is assertive this person is authentic very authentic very truthful tells it just how they see it whoever this person is that you're dealing with death going through a transformation 
whoever you're dealing with is probably very graceful as well, very tactful, very gentle, has control, is working on controlling themselves, working on controlling their ego. This person that you are dealing with um, is going through some sort of major transformation. They are. They're going through a profound life change and things are happening fast for them. It's almost like they don't, they don't even know what's going, things are happening so fast that they don't even know what's going on. This is an unplanned transformation. Ace of Pentacles reversed with the Death card. It's an unplanned change. It's an unplanned new beginning. I think things are happening fast for whoever this person is that you're dealing with. Whoever you're dealing with is unaware. They are unaware that uh, somebody is coming towards them as well. There's some sort of unplanned loss here. This is like being under attack. The Knight of Swords, there's an unplanned loss. You're unaware of the High Priestess. Whoever your person is is unaware that Somebody is coming towards them. There's a need to defend. Defend, defend, a defender, defender. Something about a defender. Maybe you need to defend her. If you're a man, defend her. Knight of Wands reverse. That's reckless behavior. Reckless behavior. There's there's inappropriate behavior. Somebody's moving too fast. You know, they're, or they're not moving fast enough. They need to get moving, get moving, get moving, get moving. Defend her, protect her. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. There is definitely somebody here that is very fearful. Fearful of change, fearful of new beginnings, fearful of getting hurt. There is, there is somebody here that does not have good intentions. There's a need to protect, whatever that means. In your future, Page of Wands, that is an, that's an exciting new direction that's putting your feet on new ground, starting over, finding your focus, um, exciting opportunity in, the, in your hands. This is an opportunity for growth. This is a new suitor, somebody bursting into your world, especially with the Sun card. There is somebody bursting into your world that is a perfect match. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. There may be a slight age difference. I don't know, maybe it's three or four years. There is happiness in the future, a new life. This is a breakthrough. It's a life-giving energy. It's very positive. It's a, it's a positive opportunity to heal. It's a very healing energy. This new suitor or this new opportunity or this new exciting, uh, beautiful rebirth, whatever it is, is going to help you to heal. But that Three of Swords is grieving. It's loss. It's pain. It's... it's uh, Healing from trauma. I feel like there's a healing love here because the sun with the three of swords is a very healing in the future. There's a healing energy. It's warmth. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I do believe that you're going to receive an offer or an invite from somebody that can help you to heal for some, from some previous trauma. I feel like there's been some heartache, there's been some hard lessons that have been learned, but this is a healing, it's a healing energy. Um,
Six of Pentacles reversed now. Seven of Pentacles reversed in the future. That's a dead end. It's time to relocate. Some of you may need to relocate. You may need to relocate to a warmer place, to a better place. You know, the Seven of Wands reverse is a dead end. There's no growth here. We're relocating to a place where there's more growth, where there's more happiness, where there's more fertility. Planting your seeds someplace else. Some of you will be planting seeds someplace else, and there could certainly result in a child for some of you. <laughs> Just saying. Um, you do have an exciting new opportunity that is being given to you to start fresh, to start over. This could be a new relationship or things stepping it up to the next level. There has been a separation. There has been a detachment from a partner. I feel like there's going to be, um, it's almost like a new spark or a new desire to make this grow. Yes, yes, this is what you asked for. Just go for it, especially with the Ace of Wands. Just go for it. Act now. Just do it. I believe that you that you are going to that you have manifested something. Your wish has been granted. I feel like uh, there's some sort of divine connection here. We have two yes cards in the future: the Sun and the and the. Uh, Magician card, yes, yes, yes. It's time to invest in this. This will help you to heal. It will help you to heal your broken heart. This is a perfect match. This is what you asked for. Somebody is going to be, this is action, taking action to bring success. May require, you know, relocating with that seven of pentacles. Reverse. This is a dead end. You may need to, you may need to relocate, you know, to get what you deserve. Somebody, uh, is taking back their power. They're taking back control. They're going to be taking action to invest in something new. Some of you have been hoping, praying, wishing for happiness or wishing for a blessing. A blessing is coming. This is a blessing. It is really a blessing. It's a healing. It's a healing love. You may not see it coming, but something that you have been waiting for has arrived or it is right in front of you. Don't miss the boat. Travel. There's travel. 